Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be sharing with you some easy DIY gift wrapping ideas that hopefully you'll be able to use to wrap up those Christmas presents since it's only days away. And I want to say thank you to Causebox for partnering with me for today's video. I will tell you more about them later on. But first, let's get started with these easy, affordable DIY gift wrapping ideas. So I'm going to be sharing with you seven different gift wrapping ideas and I hope that you'll love these. This is really affordable. This gift wrap is from the Dollar Tree and all I'm doing is wrapping around some of this green ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby but you can purchase ribbon from wherever. I'm simply tying a knot in the first part and then I'm using a Dollar Tree gift tag. It came in a pack of like 20 with six different styles which is pretty awesome and then I just simply tied a little bow on top. You could of course do bigger but I wanted it to be very dainty looking and then I would decided to take a gold paint pen and write on it Merry Christmas but this wrapping paper was a bit glossy so as you can tell the paint did not go through so I decided to go in with a sharpie and rewrite Merry Christmas and then I highlighted it with the gold paint over the sharpie just to give it a little shimmer and it worked out really well and I really love the way this package came together it's simple you don't have to write anything on it if you don't want to And I decided to use some green twine that I picked up at Dollar Tree as well. They have a red and then the regular brown color in it. And I just wrapped that around a few times and then just simply tied a knot in it. And then I'm going to take a gift wrapping tag that I found at Dollar Tree as well. It came in the same pack as the other ones. And I just simply tied a little knot. And then I attached this ornament snowflake that I got from Walmart in a package of 20. And then tied a bow on top. And this is the way it turned out. I think it's really pretty. For the next idea, I am using this gift wrapping paper from Target Dollar section. It's only a dollar. And then I'm using some ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby. And again, I'm just doing a normal wrapping job. You can see I messed up there on the side, but no biggie. You're going to fold over the ties. That way you can tie a knot in the top. And again, you can do a bow if you want to. Um, it's really up to you. I decided to tie a knot and I liked the way that looked. And then I took a little um, bell and put that on top by gluing it. And then I glued on a little bit of some fresh greenery. You could do faux, whatever you want. But I love the way this little package came together. So for the next idea, I am again using some paper from the Target Dollar section. It was only a dollar and I love the design on this. It's so pretty. It just has that modern farmhouse look and definitely goes with my color scheme this year. So do your normal wrapping job. And then I took some leftover ribbon that I had. I always save my ribbon from previous year's packages. It's just something that I've always done. You're going to want to tuck that under each side. So loop that underneath. And then I'm just going to make a simple knot in this. Again, you can do what works for you, but I like making a knot because it cinches it all together. And then I decided to take an ornament that I got from Walmart and then put that in there. And then I just wrap the bow pulling from underneath with the loops, securing that. Now you could just leave it just like this, but I thought it would be really pretty to add a little pop of greenery in there again to go with my color scheme. And I just tucked it in underneath and voila it's done i think it's so pretty you can let me know what design yours is your favorite so far now i have some brown wrapping paper from the dollar tree again and this stuff is really versatile again i am using some leftover ribbon from christmas time last year and i'm just looping this across tying basically a loop in it and then i'm going to fold in my bow so i'm doing a traditional bow here i'm just going to make two ears and then tuck them underneath there's many ways to make bows. You do what works for you, but this way it's easy to undo the package. And then I decided to cut V's in the bottom of it. So you just fold that over and then cut upwards into a V shape. Um, and then you have a really nice, pretty uh, elegant edge to your ribbon. Now you can leave it just like this. And I decided to actually add this Dollar Tree reindeer to it. And I think it's absolutely adorable. some white ribbon that's a little bit smaller. I'm going to make a teeny little bow on this one because I didn't have enough ribbon here, but you could leave it. It's very dainty and simple, or you could add a piece of greenery. Again, you can use faux or real. 
And then to spruce it up a little bit more, I took some white twine from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get this anywhere, really. Um, and then I'm just going to tie a little knot in it. That way it stays in one spot and it can help me hold down the greenery without gluing it to the package. And I'm just going to wrap that around the package a few times. And you can do this all over the package if you wanted to. I just decided to keep it to the top and then I just tied a little knot in it and then I cut off the excess and this is very simple. I added a little uh, tag to it again from the Dollar Tree and this is the way it turned out. I'll be showing you also how to make your own ornaments and using those to decorate your packages as well here in a minute. Let me know which gift wrapping idea you like the most and what color scheme you are using for your gift wrapping this year. Let me know down in the comments. So now I'm going to go ahead and unbox the winner cause box and share this with you all. This is actually my first box I've ever received from them and I'm so excited to be partnering with them because they actually partner with companies that are ethically and sustainably made and each box comes with an exclusive magazine that tells you where the product is made, what the brand is about, who the brand gives back to, and then who is directly impacted by the product, which is really, really neat. I am so excited to share this with you all. So they partner with emerging brands, artists, and designers that actually give back to their communities. Each box has a unique amount of stuff in it, over $200 worth of value, and you can pick it up with my 30% off coupon code for around $35 to $38, depending on which subscription you decide to choose. Everything will be linked in the description box for you as well, so make it super easy. You can give this as a Christmas gift, you can get it as a gift just for you, but you can also pick it up and give it as a gift throughout the year for different family members and friends. And each box has homeware, beauty, accessories, a houseware in it. Each box is made unique each season. The winter box has just sold out, so Cause Box has created a limited edition box that includes some of the best items like the Imani Collective Woven Throw Blanket that comes in either cream or slate color. It has these beautiful tassels slash palms on the corners with fringed edges. Quality is so beautiful and heavyweight and it's hand finished by artisans in India. You'll also get these beautiful custom mugs designed by Whitney Kearney that the proceeds help support victims of domestic violence. It features a Samara Luxe jewelry box that is made of from vegan leather valued at $42. It's small yet big enough to hold a good amount of your jewelry whether you're at home or traveling. They even included a polishing towel and it has a zipper so nothing is ever lost and it's probably my favorite item in this box. Next you'll find the Sazu Cozy Convertible Mittens that are super soft and versatile and are made from innovative blend of recycled materials and is valued at $33. You will also get the Vitiv Daily Hair Vitamin. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and it's a multitasking hair product that works like a mask, serum, and hot oil all in one. So you get four boxes to choose from every year, and if you're an annual member, you actually get to choose part of the items that go in your box, which is really neat. And I love the fact that they are partnering with companies that not only give back, but each cause box that is purchased gives back to a charity itself, which is really awesome. So, so make sure to pick up your cause box using the link in the description box below. I know you will absolutely love it just as much as I do. So now I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY ornaments. It's super easy. You'll need a half a cup of cornstarch, one cup of baking soda, and three-fourths cups of water. You're going to mix this together and then put it over the stove top on medium heat until it thickens up. And then you'll want to use a spoon as it really gets thick in there and you're going to let it cool. It's going to be basically like regular dough. And then you're going to get your cookie cutters out and then you're going to roll this out to like traditional cookie dough just don't eat it it's not going to taste very good and then you're going to make it about half an inch thick or so and then all i'm going to do is take the ornament shapes and cut them out it was a fun family project i really enjoy doing this with my boys Now I'm just taking a toothpick and then placing it where I thought would be a nice thick spot where the ornament wouldn't break. And I kind of rolled that uh, toothpick around a little bit, making the hole a little bit wider. And that way you can uh, put a string through there and hang them up on your tree, or you can use them for gifts. We actually did both this year. 
and I flip them halfway through the baking time and let them cool for a good couple hours and then you can have fun painting them or you can just leave them plain and add names to it, use them as gift tags on gifts. It's completely up to you. Here I am using some gift wrap that I got from Walmart and I love the design on this. It is so cute. It says no peeking. I think it's adorable. It was three or four dollars I believe at Walmart and it was really thick paper. I really like this and these are gifts from Santa. So I had to do this when the boys were out playing. I hope you all enjoyed the DIY gift wrapping ideas as well as seeing what's in the winter cause box. If you decide to order one, definitely use my 30% off coupon code. And I just want to say a big thank you for being here and part of my channel. And I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a wonderful holiday with your family and friends. Be safe if you are traveling. And with that, make fun memories with your family and friends. And I will see you all in the next one.